the zero experience required. Today we're going to be replacing ballasts in my fluorescent lights I have in the ceiling. I have two of them burned out and I'm going to be replacing them with the two that I got from this light fixture that I got for free. When replacing ballasts you want to make sure you get the right type. These are T12 ballasts which is a very old standard which is good for me because my lights are very old. The other two standards that you'll more likely come across are T8 and T5. The T12 means that it is 12 eighths of an inch, which is roughly one and a half. A T8 would be an inch wide, and a T5 would be nearly a half. The reason why you need to care about the size is the ballasts are designed for those size of tubes. If you get one for the wrong size, it won't work. Another thing about the T numbers is the lower the number, the more energy efficient the system is. So if you're planning on installing a new one, um, T8 is probably what you want to go for. T5 if you want to spend a little extra to maybe get a little more performance. They're more for higher ceilings is what I've read. The quickest way to use a ballast like this. These T12s require so much wiring is just to leave the wiring alone. Take apart the fixture. We get access to these things which are the lighting fixtures or sometimes called tombstones. Once you have the ballasts out you'll realize the two ballasts are completely separate from each other and can be used separately. So if you extract the ballast with all its pieces together, this makes it real easy because these things will just slide in and out. And the only wiring you have to do is with these. Now as you'll see, two of the lights are still on on this light. The outer pair are not. That's because the ballast usually runs two lights at a time. So in this light fixture, there are two ballasts. We're going to be replacing the faulty one. First step, disconnect it from power. Keep track of which pair is which because the one with the ballast is more likely bad. Use a screwdriver flat bladed to break those pieces loose and then the tombstones should actually start falling out right away. So once you have it down, you look at the wires and trace it to the ballast. That's bad. Since it's the outer set, that's bad. I trace those wires up to the first ballast. Next you'll need to disconnect the black and white wires from the ballast so that you can remove it. Next pull the tombstones from the brackets that they're in that's corresponding to the bad ballast and then disentangle all the wires. This is really just kind of like untying knots at this point and you pull off the old ballast and screw on the new one and then redo everything that you just did in opposite order. Told you it was easy. And then use the screwdriver to get the bracket back into place. And that's pretty much it for dealing with the tombstones. Here I'm straightening out the wires and then twisting them together making sure to twist black to black and white to white and then uh, covering up with a uh, cap make sure there's no exposed wiring and then slap on the cover and do a victory gesture and put the lights back in and you're done Boom! so now all the lights in my workshop are completely lit up I didn't record replacing the second ballast and I regret doing that because it was so old, it didn't even mention that it was a T12. Now, if you didn't have the option of pulling out all the innards with it, you can easily just cut these wires and splice them. If you have to do that, that's a lot more pain, a lot more work, and I would definitely recommend just salvaging an old uh, light fixture and pulling out all the parts. It is so much easier than rewiring. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know what else you want to see. I'm going to probably tear apart one of these in the future, so stay tuned for that video.
Outtakes. The strange coloration is appearing entirely on the camera. To my eye, those are white. Isn't that interesting?